Here is a quiz on equations of lines. So what you have studied so far is uh, vector equations of the line, parametric equations of the line, and the scalar or Cartesian equations of the lines. So based on the equations of lines, we have few simple questions. And this is to make sure that you have understood and you are ready to move on to the next chapter, right? So we will do equations of planes in the next chapter. Here is question number one. I would like you to read the question, copy it, answer it, stop the video for the meanwhile. And once you have written the answers, then look into the solution. That way you are going to benefit most of it, okay? Well, here is my solution. So you can stop the video if you have not answered the question yet. And that then look into the solution, okay? And do it for each and every question which follows. There are nine questions here in this and here is question number one. State the direction vector of each line. Simple as that. So we have given you different forms of lines so that you become conversant to find the direction vector. After all, for a line, what do you need? A point and a direction vector. Correct? Two points, oh yes, two points actually give you direction vector and a point. And one more thing, there is the third option, that is a point and a normal vector with which you get your scalar equation. So basically, there are three ways in which you can get equations of lines. And I'm just telling you often this, so that it's a good reminder, right? And remember, for finding equation of a line, there are three options, correct? Now here, part A. The line through points given to us. That seems to be simple. So you just take away one from the other and you know the direction vector, right? So M is, so we'll write direction vector M here. So M we can fill up here for all, right? So we can say this minus this, which is minus four minus three will give us minus seven, right? And seven minus of minus five means seven plus five, which is 12 and 1 minus 6 will give us minus 5. So that is for the first one. The second one is slope intercept form. So where the slope is 3, you remember slope normally is delta y over delta x. But in our direction vector, we write delta x first. So here the m is 1, the denominator. And this numerator is the y change, which comes later. So that's our direction vector. This equation is in the scalar form. 3 and minus 7 are the normal to the vectors, right? 3 and minus 7 are the normal to the vectors. They are not the direction vectors. But direction vector is simple to find. Flip it and change one of the sign. Since minus 7 is already negative, we'll make this position plus. So the direction vector here is 7 and 3. Correct? Okay. If you have doubt, you can check it out. So normal and direction dot product should be 0. Right. So let's check this out. So we say 7 comma 3 dot 3 comma minus 7. Right. So 7 times 3 is 21 and 3 times 7 is minus 21 which gives us 0 so that is perfect matching correct so that's so simple as that just flip it flip it and change one of the signs now this is a vector equation which gives you the direction vector straight away so here it is 2 minus 1 and 3 and this one is giving you direction vector so what do you think is the direction here? It is 0. So it is 3, 0 and minus 2. So that is the symmetric form of the equation. And in the symmetric form, these are our points, minus 5, plus 2 and plus 4. And the denominator gives us the direction vector. 3 here, it is, I'm sorry, here it is 1, sorry. Here it is 1 and this is 1 here, okay? So 
3, 1 and minus 2. If it is 0, we will write y equals to 2, correct, with comma, correct. I'm sorry for that. It is 1 here. Okay, good, I checked it. Thank you. Move on to the next question.